Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play series. We're starting down here because I have done some serious grinding off camera. To the point of which, I've got a looting three sword now, because I got a looting villager. Took a while. I then went to the nether, and I got three wither skulls, which took an abysmally long time. Like, too long. Um... So what we've done, because I, I want to be able to get more Wither Skulls, I'm setting up a quad beacon at the um, at the base. So what I've done here is I've filled this room with chickens. Because when the chickens die to the Wither, they drop Wither Roses. And then if I build a platform of Wither Roses, Withers are more likely to spawn. See? So we're going to drink our, our Strength Pot. Uh, regen pot and we are gonna bop this guy right down let's just get ready it's about to get real people it's about to get real I got health pots as well okay that's not good where's he gone okay hello oh no That's bad. He needs to come down. Oh, shit. This is bad. We need to get to half health quick. He's loud as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. It is still taking him a hot second. And we've got decent armor. Okay, he's at half health. This is where we need to survive, people. This is where we survive. This is where we survive. This is where we survive. We did it. We did it. It's okay. Whew. And there should be a bunch of wither roses down here. Lovely. And chicken. How many wither roses? Oh, almost a stack. That'll do us lovely. Um, whew, we are still ticking damage. Just to... But that regen is... Uh, wait, how do I get rid of that? Oh, yeah. Our regen ran off quick. I mean, it was only 45 seconds, I think. By the time he spawned, it probably had ran out. Um, but now we've got a... Hello? Goodbye. Uh, now we've got a, um, a wither star. So, we can go and make a beacon. Beacon. Beacon? What? What is a... What is it called? Oh, show all. Confused. Show all. This is just everything, right? Are you telling me I can only craft five pages worth of stuff? You're having a giggle, if you think that's correct. How do I... Wait, how do I craft a beacon? It told me I had unlocked it. I saw that. I just can't remember how to craft one. Pretty sure it's just, like, three obsidian on the bottom, though. And then, you know what I'm saying that? We should probably go get some more obsidian real quick. Um, three obsidian on the bottom and glass around it. So we'll give that a go and see. And if so... We'll put in our first. Um, we'll put in our first beacon, on the quad beacon that I'm building. We might also need to grab some of that iron to finish building the quad beacon, because it does need. So I, d I don't know why I started making it before having any um, actual wither stars, but I did start making it because I'm cool like that. That should be all we need. We'll take one more just in case. There we go. We'll take one more and then we're going to head back up. And then hopefully I should be able to grind for um, Wither Skulls a bit easier. Because, like, man, the grind for Wither Skulls without um, hopefully this setup is just, like, hella difficult. Because the spawn rates are garbage. 
because uh, like it's they're competing with everything else to spawn. It's a whole issue. Uh, I did also clear out a bit more space here. As you can see, it's a little bit more spacious. It's taking a lot to do, but we are getting there. Oh god, have we lost a villager? No, there's two guys sleeping here. Um, as I said, I also got a looting... Um, we forgot the iron. As I said, I also got a looting um, guy. Guy, uh, a looting book man. One of these guys is a looting book man now, which is great because we just... I wasn't doing that with a hunting without a looting book. Uh, that would have just been ludicrous to ask of me. Uh, because, I mean, Christ, the drop rates are abysmally low. Um, to the point of which I I can't even imagine how low I killed so many. I've probably grinded for about an hour and a half to no avail. So, like, that's... Well, not to no avail. I got three, but, like, that tells you how low the drop rate is. Like, an hour and a half of grinding to get three is not great. Uh, let's just chuck a load of this stuff here for now. Yeah, that's fine. That's my chest of, um... Doing... There we go, that's fine. That'll do. Uh, and then we'll just make them into blocks real quick. That should be the rest of the blocks I need, actually, for our quad beacon. The glass wasn't in this chest, was it? No. It's fine. We definitely have some glass. I just don't know where. It'll be in the chest, though. But, oh yeah, also, I um, in between episodes, I decided to move everything over here to encourage me to actually uh, decide to tidy this up. Because the more I have to come over here, the more I want it to be a easier and better experience. I think the glass might be in here. There it is. Uh, and then we just need a crafting table. And I think it's as simple as this in the middle, these three here, and then this. <gasps> a beacon. How is it spelled? B-E-A, I was spelling it right. Uh, we need to come up here real quick so that we can um, finish off the base because it's it's taking a lot of materials to build. I've built it into the ceiling here. Oh no, this might not even be enough. Oh god, we need more iron. A lot more, because that's another two rows there. How much more iron do we need? We need four, eight, twelve, fifteen more blocks of iron. Oh, can we bodge that for now and put, like, gold blocks there until we get the rest of it? Yeah, we can. And we'll we'll activate it with a piece of gold. Sure. Uh, we will replace these gold blocks because I don't really... I like the, the uniform nature, but, I mean, it's going to require sitting by that iron golem farm for a little bit longer. But this will also... This is going to help me with um, dealing with those assholes of guardians because they're causing me a lot of issues uh, to the point of I just want to be able to have the regen and probably damage boost? Unsure. Unsure which one I want. Uh, can I... Oh! There we go. Don't want the villagers getting out. But we've got to come... To use this, we have to come over here. Oh, they're going to try and fuck me up. And then we break one of these. And this. Oh, look at that. Bringing home the beacon and then beaconator. And this is a fully tiered one. So we're definitely taking regen. And then we could take strength or resistance first. Um, let's take resistance first. Oh, I see. So I can either have regeneration or resistance too. Gotcha. Uh, this, we may have wanted a, a quintuple beacon. But we will take, for now, uh, regen and resistance. I feel like that's at least a... And... Wait for it. Boom, look at that. We are decked. And as I said, this is uh, this is enough for four. So we need to grind out some more. But 
we're now at a good point. Like, these guys, they cause me ag, but... Like, oh no, you're gonna hurt me. You can't really. Go on, shoot me. Shoot me just for the sake of it. See, scared of me. Does nothing. One, I regen faster. Look at that. You're useless now, all of you. We needed this beacon so badly. Now we can at least uh, just withstand the damage. Oh my god, look at this. And how far out does it go from the center? Uh, let's see. It'll be when... Okay, so... Okay. Okay. Here we go. So pretty much up to the border of our thing, actually, our entire area should be regen and resistance, which is pretty decent. Because uh, the this is dead center, so the math should work out for all sides. Like if I go round to the other point, admittedly this circle is a little broken. I still need to fix the circle, but we come over to this point, for example. Okay, wait. Interesting. Okay, here. So, almost. Either way, it's pretty decent. Uh, and we're going to have four beacons there. So, what we'll probably do is we'll probably do... Um, one of them maybe regen two, resistance two, uh, strength two... Wait, can I count? Re wait. Regen 2, Strength 2, Resistance 2, and then Haste 2. Because I don't think I need the jump or anything. Look at this slime farm going on here as well. Beaut. Yeah, the Iron Golems do are needed because those slimes, I think, are trying to fuck up the villagers. So it does help quite a bit having the that get killed. Um, I mean, that was great. We just now need to basically remake... Um, we need to remake, uh, well, not remake, we need to make a um, a big platform in the nether now where we can try and spawn in withers. So, uh, I'm going to go and sit an AFK here for a bit and get the iron sorted for putting in the base of that so at least that's finished completely rather than having those gold blocks in there. And then once... Wait a second... He's not dying there. Where's he dying? I know where he's dying. This has happened before. He's for some reason spawned in the wall. And I don't know why... Oh, because he's spawning on these blocks here. I think. That can be the only idea, is that, that he's spawning there. So we would need some more slabs. Which I reckon we can probably do. Let's just have a look at what we've got. We've got these, so we can do this, this, because we're losing some drops there. Can't be losing. We've got 60, lovely. I'm so happy with that. Um, I was worried that we weren't going to get decent enough, um, decent enough drops from those wither roses, but 60 is perfect. Like, that's at least a really good start, and I mean, every time I do a wither, what I can do is I can just, um, there we go. Um, I am going to need to now get water buckets, though, because otherwise, yeah, they'll do that, which is no, no good, but it's fine. We'll grab some iron, make a bucket, and go and quickly do that. One, two, three. just to get him moving because he must it must be there that he was spawning I can't imagine what else is basically causing it um, and yeah we're gonna grind here for a bit to get the iron and then we'll be all good let's just go down see this isn't flowing like this this is stale water <gasps> no! Down! 
Oh, you bastard. My bow is actually very strong. What happens here then? Wait. I'm so confused in how... Right, but that hasn't really solved our... No so Oh god, we're stuck. Oh god, we're stuck. Okay. Whew. Oh no. Um No You bastards <laughs> Ow <laughs> Ow <laughs> Why hasn't he fallen down either? Bloody Judas up there. Pushed me down. Chug this, why not? Just for the sake of having drank it. I was supposed to have drank it earlier, so. What's happening up here? And why did you push me down? You big bitch. Oh, because you're probably sat on that block, aren't you? The block that I used for safety. Come on. Yeah, see, now we've got a real problem here. At least the current is good. There we go. That'll have to do, is all I'm saying. Um, yeah, so we're going to AFK here for a bit, get some iron together, and then get ourselves sorted. We can put that there for now. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be back and what we'll do when I come back is we'll go into the nether. Move this as well. As I said, like I did a lot of tidying uh, in between. Emptied the house, uh, planted a load of sugar cane just for the sake of having it. Um, and I've been trading and stuff just to get drops. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna AFK here, chill and get some drops. And then just sort of see what we can do. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be back and we'll go to the nether and make, um, this ball doesn't work by the way. It is here, but the nether portal, luckily, because we're moving eventually, links to that one. I was hoping they'd be separate a little bit, but it's fine. Um, that is a quick access way for us to get back down there though, because I can go into the nether, out, and then back through, and it takes me out through that portal. So not mad. Uh, anyway. I keep rambling, so I'm going to head off now, and I'm going to chill here for a bit, and then we'll come back with uh, another update. Okay, and we're back. I actually don't fully remember where we left off. I think it was having golded out this bit and finished the beacon. Well, I've ironed it out now, <laughs> um, and now we have a full beacon made of iron, uh, so that was a, a thing I did. I think also... In between, I did some more clearing out, so you'll see that actually the whole top of this is now cleared. Uh, we're getting over there a little bit. I'm going to go over there a little bit as well, but it's getting there, you know? We're, we're making slow but steady progress, and I'm quite happy. Oh yeah, we had an incident, <laughs> and I repaired it with, <laughs> with melons, because that's what I had to hand. <laughs> Don't judge me. Uh, we've got another wither skeleton as well because uh, actually let's go and do that first So one thing I was working on and it's something I said in the last episode is I needed the wither roses To create a wither farm to be able to get withers better so that I can make all four of those beacons become a reality Which would be super cool uh, and I know what I'll do with them now I'll do resistance to regen to strength to haste to because I can get level two of all of them with four beacons um so we just need more wither skulls basically at this point and we also need more um wither roses anyway so uh we're gonna need to farm them more and for that we need to find realistically for the oh my god the boys uh for a successful wither farm we actually need uh, a fortress in a soul sand valley now that's fairly hard to come across but with a little bit of innovation and a lot of time off camera. I went all the way to a fortress which is in the right biome and then made a path all the way the hell back. Now you're about to see how far away this is and this path needs adjusting and 
developing. Oh my god, there's a ghast and it's a one wide block. Run, piglin. Oh my god, I thought we were going to push me. Uh, we got to run. We got to run quick. Is that another one in front of us? I think it is. Nope, it's just gravel. Okay, can we ping that while we're going? Oh, it's floating it. Should have updated. Never mind. We're going to keep running. Uh, it's far away though. But honestly, the um, just having worked there um, briefly and like killed some mobs briefly, the drop rates for, well, the, not the drop rates, the spawn rates for wither skeletons, so much faster. Like this would have been such a quicker process to do um, had I known this in advance. Um, but either way, we've done it now. Uh, and we should be able to get another another couple with us slowly grinded out. Um, we'll do them underground again and we'll spawn a load of chickens around them and get tons of wither skulls. But for now, we're almost there, I think. There's actually another fortress, but this is the wrong biome, so I haven't even explored that yet. Um, I don't think... I think we're close, though, at this point. Ooh, that guy's got a cool sword. Can't catch me, though. I'm speedy. Uh, I think there's a much easier path that we can do for this, but I haven't actually done it yet because I was just trying to path my way home. So this path I dug out here was literally me walk. I walked all the way to the right uh, X coordinate, then I walked all the way to the right Z coordinate, basically for home. So I think there's a much better way of doing this, but for now we'll just um, we'll just live with how it is, basically, quite simply. All that stutter. Um, but we're almost there. It's taken a whole hunger bar worth of food to get here. But I think, yeah, those look like stairs in front of us. So the stairs lead up into it. And then what we're going to need to do when we're up there is basically flatten out a large area, fill it with soul sand, and then cover that soul sand with wither roses. And then that will literally mean the only thing that could... That means the only thing that can spawn <laughs> is withers, and then basically we'll have just like massive drop rates. But it's also got a very close uh, blaze spawner here, so we may be able to make a, a blaze farm while we're here. Ugh. Um, but I've already done some work on. Can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see. Ow, can't see. Okay. Um, I've already done some work. F Who's still fat? Boop. Boop. And boop. Uh, I've already done some work flattening it, but as you can see, like, it's a big area. Um, I've already got wither skeletons spawning here, which is great. And actually, this is another blaze spawner as well. So we may be able to grind out. Ow. We may be able to grind out quite a nice amount of stuff from here. That wasn't another head, unfortunately. But yeah, so it's a it's a decent little area. We're basically going to probably use like this part of the area, maybe not that far, um, to get our um, our drops. And I think it will be very very useful because it's in a soul sand valley, so it means only withers and like very limited mobs can spawn here, basically. So it prompts those higher spawn rates, and then you have the added benefit of um, the soul sand and wither roses, and that basically means that the only thing that's gonna be here is withers, which is exactly what we need. Uh, and then we come back here. So we can go back down these stairs and run our ass all the way home, because we're not gonna do anything here today, because Christ, if we do anything here today, it'll be uh, it'll be just a, a ridiculous amount of time quite simply. <laughs> uh, and I know this episode, I know I've already done about half of this episode previously, uh, I think fighting the wither and getting the beacon. So we're going to do some other things, but I mean, I reckon we're going to get home. We're getting a lot of, um, we're getting a lot of gas tears as well. Oh, ran out of arrows. Let's just go home then. <laughs> Nyom. We're getting a lot of gas tears though. The more I work in the nether, the more I've got which is nice, because do you know what we need to do? We need to go and do some netherite mining at some point, which is something we will uh, endeavor to try and do because only having one netherite thing right now is a bit sad. Uh, and I'd like to have a little bit more netherite like on my armor and everywhere, realistically. It'd be very nice to have a lot, a lot of netherite. 
Who doesn't love a bit of netherite? Also, talking about Minecraft and just other things that are happening, that series that I spoke about is coming to fruition slowly. Uh, I'll be doing a series with Rimmel, Ready Made Lobotomy, who I've done stuff with my streams with, but I know a lot of people here actually never got to see any of my streams, but stay tuned because they're coming back. This whole series is basically about bringing back my streaming because there's going to be a lot of grinding, a lot of fun, and a lot of nattering, so I'll be doing a lot of streaming. Um, but yeah, so basically we're going to be doing a series together. Um, she's in America, so the kind of concept of the series is like, Two estranged friends, <sighs> run. Um, two estranged friends, basically, that like I don't really get to talk to her too often. Like we text a lot, but like playing together is a whole different scenario because, I mean, it requires us to literally like be on the same time zone almost. Like it's very difficult to um, to play with her when she is like eight hour time difference, which is just a, a manic amount of different time. So we're going to sort of do the series based on like, you can interact with her, you can interact with me, there'll be little like bits in between where we sort of like all interact together and stuff. But yeah, so I'm not going to reveal what we're going to be doing yet, but I think if I'm right, it's starting this evening, at least Rimmel's recording a bit this evening or starting. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. She might be streaming, she might be recording. I'm unsure of her plan to start. But, ooh, death man. Oh, he's gonna hit us on these stairs. Defend the stairs. Damn it. Defend the stairs. Oh, damn it. Come on, up a couple more stairs before he shoots again. We defended the stairs successfully. That feels like a real accomplishment, actually. Um, I think. From the direction that we come, because we go, we go like over there, I think, like, because we, if you look at it, right, we go over there, across, oh, do we go that way or that way? We might go that way. So I might be able to go, I just want an easier connection, realistically, is what I'm trying to say. Might be able to go from here, like, that way, or here, that way. I thought it was this way, but I might be wrong. Um, so I'm going to try and work on that because it would be good to have a bit of an easier path and a bit more direct route as well because I mean the current route isn't hugely direct it takes me in a big like L shape like you go like along 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 and then across and I'd much rather it be um, a bit more of just either a diagonal so we can just go like straight across or no I'd rather it be a diagonal <laughs> or at least like a lot more straight I guess and like that rather than what we've got right now, which is a giant L. Like, I'd rather run almost just past it and then turn and go into it. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's coming together, this world. It's definitely getting there. We're getting mad drops from the iron farm as well. Like, the iron farm continues to chug, and so does the pumpkin and melon farm, actually. We're going to go have a look quickly at that, because... Uh, but it is getting there. Look at this. We've actually got, like, a, a decent little little view now. We still have, like, we haven't even finished one side, but we still have the whole other side to do. But, I mean, it just takes so long to do. Like, the Guardians try and, like, do me in every second of the day. Um, but I am grinding away off camera slowly. I haven't been able to do it as much recently. I've been busy with job interviews and just general life. Oh, my God, something happened, by the way. While I was um, doing some AFKing, the cat that was here got struck by lightning and died. Very sad. And we got an achievement. Um, surge Protector. I, I don't know how we did this. Protect a villager from an undesired shock without starting a fire. I don't know how we did that unless an iron golem got struck by lightning. Very confused. But look at this. Like, we've, like, we rinsed this to build the beacon. And we could probably build another beacon. And actually, that's what I'm thinking of doing, by the way. So what I'm thinking about is, where's a boat? Is there a boat in here? Is there a boat in here? Damn it, there's no boats anywhere. I keep stealing them all. Um, do I grow a tree purely for this factor? Yes, for efficiency, right? So we grow the tree, we make the make the boat, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I wanna do. So, 
Uh, chuck that back in there, chuck that back in there. Cool. So what I want to do is... Let's just get this. I want to build individual... And you know what? We might actually be able to... Just to mark it. Just take a load of this iron. I mean, like, we're getting so much in. Like, it's an obscene amount. Like, I keep just chucking the poppies into the... Um, the old composter because I mean Christ why not um, iron what's this oh I see I got double iron ingots <gasps> madness um, so we can put that back just for the sake of it being back uh, so what I'm thinking is we have like little towers on each edge where like we've got the um, so, like, here, for example, is where there's, like, this is, if you think about it, right, this is where, it's not, because it's not, because it's a 4 by 4 in the centre, it would have to be something like this. And, I mean, maybe we end up just making, let's move this out of the way. Uh, maybe we end up making another 4x4 four four beacon on each side. I don't know, but this is sort of like where the center is. I want to build like a tower here, uh, a tower over there, and then we'd have like a beacon. I don't know how it... thing is, it won't sit right if it's not a 4x4 four four beacon again, which is going to be very annoying because that's a lot of resources to make another, what, one, two, three, four by 4x4 four beacons, right? So that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 16 wither stars, plus then I would say an obscene amount of iron. Like, that one took loads of iron. I can't think how many, how much iron that would take. But I mean, I don't mind the grind, because a lot of it I can just sit and wait for the iron, build it, and then done. But I think I want to build, like, little towers on each side, just to have a bit more of a, maybe like a docking point. So it might be more that, like, it's not that much of a tower, but, like, you can just drive up to it and then there's like a nice waterway down or something but then we'll just have like a big beacon here but like higher up obviously and it will give us then the effects we'll have basically the full coverage of this because as you can see right now i don't have the beacon effects i think i have to come to like here maybe here there yeah see so i gotta come one in which i mean it's not the worst um but this would give us full coverage out to like a good distance and we'd have like a nice little idea of what we're doing um the only other thing i was thinking is i could do them in the corners like there 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 and there rather than on the dead center which might be a bit nicer because on the dead center we're going to block that great view but on the corners well like i don't know where the corner would be fully it's probably somewhere in this mess of like let's see wait let's count it out quickly Ugh, drowning. Uh, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So like somewhere like here maybe. Which might not be the worst actually to do it like this. Because then we don't have to do the 4x4 four four beacons. We can do just the like... The little one. Where it's just like bingo, bango, bongo. And then we do just the four main beacons and then we can do like a thing like that instead that might be oh sorry one second that might be a bit better i don't know we're gonna sort of see what we can do with it we still need to drain like this half anyway before i can start messing around uh and then we'll go from there but anyway guys thank you very much for watching i danger um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope everything about your day has been wonderful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And we will start to smash out more of these goals and get ourselves more transferred over and just looking fancy. So, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one, everyone.